Who's next? All right. Next up, man, we got to go to Baylor. And we're going to talk about Taekwon Thornton. Now, Taekwon, he was number nine at Baylor. He's 6'3", 182, um, 14 games. He had 62 receptions, 948 yards, and 10 touchdowns. Now, <clears throat> when you watch Taekwon, the first thing that jumps off the screen is big speed. This dude mm-hmm. can take the top off the defense. Um, when he catches the ball on vertical routes, you are not going to catch him. I can assure you of that. He gets this way in a hurry. Um, I think he high points the ball and displays relatively good hands. Um And he eats up cushions in a hurry. You see guys play off coverage on him, man, good luck. You see guys play and run coverage, not bump and run, just and run coverage, and he fries them. He is a guy that if you do not put your hands on him, he is going to make your day a living hell. Um, I also think that in terms of what he kind of struggles with, I don't think his hips are as fluid. I don't think that, you know, he changes levels well when he's getting in and out of his breaks. And that kind of limits him. I also think that he's limited in terms of how he runs his routes or just the route tree that he's able to run. I think that he's definitely a vertical post corner or a stop only type of guy just because he doesn't change levels the way he needs to. Um, and when I watch him, I think that, you know, he'll he's, he's going to struggle to generate separation versus press coverage. When guys get their hands on Taekwon, he struggles to really become relative and get open and that's some of the things that i think he needs refinement on i think that if he works on his releases a little bit better you can definitely get a lot more productivity out of him because for the most part like he does catch that ball when it's in his vicinity even if it's a combat catch he does typically come down with it but i just think that there's a lot more meat on the bone for him if he can refine his releases so that way guys can get hands on him because when he was at baylor a lot of the DBs that he was facing, man, they would let him free release. And when they did, he would cook them. But you would um, you cut on the tape against Oklahoma State. And those guys put hands on him. It's a little bit different of a ball game. And, and that's the thing with him. So, like I said, with him, I like him. But I still feel like he's more of like a Ted Ginn Jr. type of guy where it's like, uh, mm-hmm. you, you know, you, you, you send he him. He had a deep. decent year, too. No, he did. He absolutely did. And Ted Ginn had a, a nice career when you think about how long he played. But I just think that he's still just a little bit more limited in terms of like what he can do from a route running aspect. And I would want to see that get a little bit more developed for us to really, you know, utilize him. But the big speed is undeniable. He runs by guys like no question. And you can scheme it up. I mean, you don't always have to have him on the point. If you feel like, you know what, he's not the best in terms of releasing versus a press. Well, you put him on a bunch and you have him off the ball. You stack him in his alignment so that way the DB can't get hands on him. And now he's able to get that release. And that's how you can just build it in, build it in the offense for him. You know what I mean? Scheme him to get that free release in a sense. But if he can actually develop, you know, a, a nice stutter or a nice little, you know, chop off the line with his hands and stuff like that, I think that will really help him a lot more. Yeah. So I got some of the yeah. same stuff as you. It looks like he judges the ball really mm-hmm. well in the air. Like he can make those yes. combat catches. Mm-hmm. He could kind of maneuver. And also when he gets the ball, it doesn't seem like the defenders can get to it. Like he yeah. can move well with the ball when he gets it in his hands, get it away mm-hmm. from someone trying to bat it away from him. I guess we really call that high pointing, I guess, can make yes, high pointing, yeah. catches. Correct. Yeah. He looks smooth too, man. He kind of yeah. looks like Christian Watson just being smooth mm-hmm. out there. I actually thought. <laughs> Well, one, I don't think there's any way he's six three. He looks like Deontay Johnson. <laughs> yeah, as yeah, as I'm like, oh, we got Deontay Johnson out there. <laughs> right, we right, we right. got to do that's like five ten, five eleven. But I think like Deontay just moves way better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. Funny. I was like, what? <laughs> you right, the speed. Yeah. Now, some of the stuff that I can't really tell you kind of mm-hmm. hit on with like the route yeah. running and maybe be a little bit more yeah. limited because everything I was like, man, he just looks good. This guy, I don't know yeah. why he's not rated mm-hmm. higher because whenever I'm looking at some of these yeah. draft sites. They don't really have him ranked in even like the top 20 or 25. Yeah. Some people think he's just going to be undrafted. Yeah, that's the big that's the big concern with him. He just has to develop that route running a lot more because the more I was cutting on tape and I always like to say I put myself in that position of if I'm guarding this guy, if I'm coaching up a guy who's going to be guarding him from a defensive coordinator perspective, what do I do to take, you know, what do I do to minimize him? And I'm looking at him and I say, man, I'm telling my corner, yo, you press him every single time. You get hands on him every single time and it won't be an issue. Think – I, 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 like I said, I thought Ted again, I thought Mike Wallace types, right? Those type of guys where it's like, you know what they can do. They're a one trick pony, but they're great at that one trick. Now, Mike Wallace developed what? He had the little jump back release where he would take off. When he started developing those releases, you saw him really, really, you know, blow yeah, up yeah. in a sense. 
but it's like you got to develop that because most like Taekwon, he doesn't have that right now. He doesn't have that in his tool bag. So for him, it's always the same release. And if you're doing the same release over and over as a defender, you can you can account for that. You can plan for that. And now I can take that away from you. And if you don't have a B or a C or a D, then, yeah, you're, you know, null and void for the rest of the day.